Okay, welcome to Python Lab. Uh, uh, today, I'm going to show you how to extract internal and external links uh, using Python. In this tutorial, you, you are going to learn how to identify and extract internal and external links from websites through web scripting in Python, and also get help to identify internal linking opportunities and also uh, uh, help to improve search engine optimization. So uh, extracting internal external links uh, from any website is that help to uh, improve search engine optimization. This is a part of search engine optimization. Actually, I have made two videos uh, previously about the detecting backlinks from uh, website using Python, beautiful soup, and also extracting, I mean, scraping data from any website using beautiful soup in Python. So you can watch those videos. Uh, you can find the links in the comment box of these video tutorials, as well as in the description uh, box of these video tutorials. And you can watch how to scrape data from any website, as well as how to detect backlinks uh, from a website. So this uh, tutorials help you to, uh, uh get uh, an internal linking opportunity as well as uh, improve search engine optimization all right uh, let's go ahead and start uh, uh this uh, tutorials uh, first let's define url the url that we are going to extract is for example i am uh, going to use alibaba.com uh now just send an HTTP, HTTP request and HTTP request and get HTTP response. Okay, that's uh, response requests dot get and we pass the URL as an argument. Okay, first let's import uh, the libraries and then run this code. If the request is successful, which means that uh, detected that website is available and that is not badly detected, that responds uh, 200. That is okay. Uh, let's check response. Respond. Okay, there is spelling error here. Response, all right. Okay. If that website is not detected or that website is not available, uh, so it responds uh, that uh, 404 that is not found or that is uh, detected badly. Okay, we are waiting. Uh, oh, that response uh, uh, okay, which means uh, successfully uh, responding uh, two zero zero. That's okay. We can uh, go for uh, extracting, parsing the contents from this website. All right, HTTP, HTML, HTML page, and we have to use beautiful soup to parse the HTML contents from the website. Uh, beautiful soup, we pass the response dot content and uh, also parse HTML dot parser that going to parse the HTML documents or contents from the website. Okay, let's see the HTML. All the contents are parsed into HTML uh, content. You can export this uh, in uh, HTML dots or index dots. HTML page. Uh, okay, now we are going to find uh, a link which is uh, including anchor tag from this HTML uh, document. All links, links and HTML page dot find all. We part the anchor tag. And let's check all the links going to extracted and save to the list. Each uh, just it is a list 
Oh, but all the contents are, uh, which include say uh, anchor tag are extracted and saved to the list. But some of the contents, uh, for example, the links are not uh, valid. For example, JavaScript, this is not a valid actually. So the next step is going to find uh, a from each uh, list item. For every list, for every link in all links, we find a trip from uh, the link. From this, we find this. Uh, for example, a trip. I mean, link. The we put the key name to the uh, this as a dictionary, and we can. If that is a trip, if that is a trip, we can print that. A trip. Yeah, we got all things which is uh, uh, the a trip. But some of the actually contents are not uh, useful. So we are going to avoid this part, this part. We are going to extract, I mean, extract the links and classify it as uh, internal or external. Okay. Uh, next is if r.alibaba.com is in href, that is, uh, print a trip. Else, uh, we can do, we can add more a trip. A trip index zero is equal hashtag. Uh, in some links, internal links may contain hashtag. Or uh, we print a trip. All right, now we are uh, extracted all the internal linkers, all right? Uh, but uh, here, this is wrong. Uh, we just uh, combine the href with the URL because URL. Uh, all right, this is uh, how we can URL All right, now it's exactly exactly. All the internal uh, links are extracted, all right. Internal links. We can classify the third part. What about the external links? If uh, actually, if we can split this and check into, uh, I mean, by colon, uh, we can split this part by colon and we can take the index zero uh, is, index zero is found in either HTTPS or HTTP. And that is not uh, this one, not our Alibaba, I mean, Alibaba, Baba.com is in HRIF. This is not found in HRIF, that is external link, which contains HTTPS, HTTP, and that is not, uh, the Alibaba.com is not found in that uh, link, uh, this one, that is, uh, external link we can now we got uh, some other external links as well uh, for example this one html uh, binian this is external link this are external link. all right now we are going to uh, uh, save in dictionary the links we create a, a, a dictionary with two items, the category and the link. Category is uh, going to categorize as internal and external link. 
Now here we are going to, sorry, 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 here, uh, what I did, I, I missed, uh, this is not this part, this part. Uh, that's the mistake. All right, let's append uh, links to the dictionary. If that is retrieve, as well as uh, the category. That category is category is internal, and we can copy this part and we can paste here we can change this by this one and that is also internal and we also paste here i mean uh, let's copy this one and paste this and here we can use f and we pass the attribute change this to external All right now we have finished this part and let's run and here we can run the dictionary okay all right all the things are extracted uh okay and classify internal external oh okay let's uh, convert this to the function function let's define a function that has uh, that help us to function the extract link and URL and the name of that URL. And we can copy paste here. All right, here we can change by name. We pass as an argument to the function, all right. Okay, and finally we return link as the dictionary as a result and here we're going to pass url https for example uh Yuda city for example Yuda city dot com it's an educational website and the name Pass here is our uda.city.com and the data we can extract. We can pass the arguments link, URL, and name. So you can update anytime this, uh, and you don't need to modify, the, I mean, uh, uh, write anytime here, but you can only uh, update this part, the function part. And finally, we have to convert or transform to pandas to see that in temporal format and df. All right, now the data. Okay, uh, let's change. Yeah. Alibaba, Udacity. Uh, internal external alibaba there are a lot of uh, internal external links here total number of links 39 uh, links are extracted from this uh, udacity uh, and for example this is uh, what external link activity.alibaba.com this is uh, linking to uh, udacity so that is external link so uh, you can see that the external link is here, so you, you will have uh, the opportunity to link uh, your own link to that website, so you can improve the search engine optimization as well.
So this is the way how we can script data, any data from website uh, using Beautiful Soap and Python. So Python with together Beautiful Soap is a powerful tool to extract, parse, and scrape data from any <laughs> website. So if you like this video, uh, like and share, and uh, also subscribe my YouTube channel and receive uh, latest uh, video tutorials about data science, data scripting, and Python tutorials. Uh, in the future, I'm going to prepare uh, a lot of uh, tutorials about data science. Thanks for watching.